Let me uh, just move straight to business. Last time when uh, I was sharing from this pulpit, I continued encouraging and uh, teaching about, you know, choices on matters in leadership. And today I want to continue with that from the text of the day. That is from the book of Acts of Apostle, chapter 6, verse 1 to 8. And uh, I just want to pray briefly and then we break the bread of life. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we're just about to share your word. As I break the bread of life to your people, speak to us with the language we can understand. In Jesus' name we pray and we say, Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, today, we want to want to fathom on the origin of choosing church leaders. How did it come that uh, church leaders were to be chosen? And uh, in my theme, we will be dealing with uh, the fact that from the origin, in the beginning of choosing church leaders, the focus has been on their characters. Character has been an issue. Now, as I make a hook to this message, let me say that the book of Acts of Apostle is uh, the only book, the history book in New Testament, and uh, it marks the birth of the church. The church is born after Jesus Christ is with his disciples, they are praying, and he leaves them, and uh, he ascends into heaven. Now, the book of Acts of Apostle, the author, is the same with the same author who did the book of Luke. So, after the last chapter of the book of Luke, we have uh, a continuation of that chapter in chapter 1 of the book of Acts of Apostle. Now, we realize that uh, when this servant of the Lord brings us that kind of a continuity, we see the church being born. You know, the disciples were told by Jesus they should not leave Jerusalem. They should wait until the Spirit comes. And for sure the Holy Spirit came. They started preaching the first crusade that was preached by Peter. And very many people, very many people gave their lives to Jesus and the church began. Now, in chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3 of the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 4, even in the chapter five the apostles and disciples are managing the church but come to chapter six we see a turnaround because now there is a need of leaders and uh, you can see that uh, in our today day-to-day -day activities in church it's like the church has a run away from the foundations and the origin of how the church was uh, being Founded. And today, I want to challenge us that we need to go to the foundation. We need to go to the premise and basis of where the church, uh, you know, began. And um, I am saying that uh, today, because of many challenges, it is the end that justifies the means, not the means justifying the end. Because Jesus is supposed to be the way. He is not the way anymore in some churches. So self-interest has taken a center stage, bringing a lot of challenges. This brings me to my points of the day. Now, we've just agreed that uh, the church, in the beginning, they focused on the character of those who should lead the church. Now, let me just make a clarification, because before I bounce on my first point. In Acts of Apostles, Chapter 6, 1 to 8. Actually, that section is not talking about elders. Yes, we have seven men chosen, but we are not told whether they are elders. We are not told whether they are deacons, but they are leaders in the church. So this is a mouthpiece of who and how the leaders are supposed to be. So the character is very important because of point number one, because of the stunting need. Because of the stunting need. Thank you, guys in media. Give me that verse 1 and 2. Now, in the, the first verse, we see a kind of uh, a controversy that introduces the need. 
In those days, when the number of disciples was increasing, the Grecian Jews among them complained against the bright Jews because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. So the twelve gathered all the disciples together and said it would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word of God in order to wait on tables. So there arose a different need. A need that was pulling the ministers down to another activity. Let me just introduce the church needs uh, and then uh, come to the need that is standing that called for leadership. Now, the, the general need in the church is, number one, word. The word must be taught and uh, the gospel must be preached. That is very key. Then the people in the church must worship the Lord in truth and in the Holy Spirit. Fellowship is mandatory for those who are believers. Missions and evangelism are also important. Then, this, I can call them like the pivotal matters in the church. But uh, there is uh, the need B, the second level need, and that is the members' welfare. The widows are in the church and orphans, the needy among the believers, and uh, these people need also to be ministered to. But uh, the ministers in those days said, no, 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 no. We cannot just stop doing the ministry in the upper level and go down to matters on the table. What are the matters on the table? You find that uh, the needy are expected to be reached with food, with clothing, with many things. And because that need was there, many people had gotten saved, there came a kind of a challenge. And this, there is something I want to clear for you. That uh, in verse 1, we have the issue of the Grecian Jews and the Hebraic Jews. I just want to make it clear for you that uh, there were the indigenous Jews, the Hebrew, the guys who are born from Palestine. And they are now the Jews who are born from Greek. So there was a conflict. I think this is not a new thing if I can explain it even in our places where we are coming from. When you see a Mukamba, uh, he can be a Mukamba when we are here in Nairobi. But when we are in Ukambani, we know that not every Mukamba is a Mukamba. There is a Mukamba from Kilungu, there is a Mukamba from Kitui. And I tell you, even the languages are different. They change some, somewhere. There is a difference between a Luya from Kakamega and a Luya from Busia. Even, and, and, and the languages are different. You realize that there are some separation. There is a difference between a Kalejin from Baringo and a Kalejin from the other side, uh, Kapsabet. You'll find even the language, they differ to some levels. Now, even the same thing with the Luos. Somebody from Bondo, somebody from Nyakach. You'll find that they are different. So these guys were different. And because of those differences in tribe, those differences in the vicinity of our souls and where we are coming from, they make us cluster and make groups. So the Jews from Palestine, they felt that they were the original. So when the people who are disputing the food, they disputed the food to the Jews from Palestine and refused to reach the ones in Greek. Are uh, all from Greek, and so they were suffering. Then a discrepancy came in. That's why we are told uh, in those days when the numbers of the disciples was increasing, the Grecian Jews among them complained. So because they were not being reached. When that agenda was brought in the local church council during that time, which was actually, uh, you know, informal, because they were the apostles, and the disciples, the 12 of them, after Kinamatathias were added. Now, we realize that uh, this kind of a partiality called for a need of a solution. And that's why I want to say uh, the urgency of meeting the need, the standing need called for leadership. Then secondly, I want to go to my second point. We need people who are really at the center. You know, in the first point, people were complaining because guys who are not led by the Spirit were harboring and making extensions of a, a kind of a frustration, a segregation, and partiality. But now in the second level, 
I want us to know that uh, it's important to measure on the character because of the urgency of the ministry and prayer. That is now verse 3 and 4. The apostles, uh, time was wasted to issues of table ma uh, matters. Sasa mchungaji, anawacha kubiri, mchungaji, anawacha kuomba, mchungaji, anawacha kujianda kwa jili ya kazi ya buwana, church planting and many others, jiwa endele kuangalia maitaji ya meza. And that was not good. So I want just to mention very fast the urgency of the ministry. The urgency of the ministry. You know, in verse 3, verse 3, you can give me that verse 3. The Bible is telling me, brothers, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over to them. Verse 4, and we uh, and will give our attention to prayer at the ministry of the word. Kwa hivo, usinichezena kuniambia ni shida ya reverend muoki eh, kutafuta vile watu atapata chakula kwa kanisa. Apana, I can only put the strategy. And let me tell you, I'm so amazed that some churches are doing so well on this matter of welfare. And uh, I've just done some benchmarking with some churches na nimefuraia sana. Just even around. Unaenda unakuta kwamba kanisa imejaa watu wanavaa vizuri, watu ambao wako na maguogogo, watu ambao wana drive, watu wako na biashara, and you wonder what is happening. The issue is these people are teaming up together. They have become friends. They are the leaders who are really, I'll be talking about them in a minute, the right leaders that are needed uh, as it was done in the first church. Na ikiwa ni mchungaji, ikiwa ni the apostle, ikiwa ni the bishop, kazi yake ni very simple. He comes, anajua kwamba, huyu muzee, ako kwa kanisa. Na mungu wa memubariki, na anaweza kuandika mutu. Anaambiwa huyo kijana ako pale, sasa nimekupatia ni mutoto wako, akikisha amepata kazi. Na ukishindwa, nimekuongezea James Mbizu Musaidiane By the end of this month, nijue kwamba huyo kijana napata mushara I know you are a doctor, uh, Edward Unausika na mambo ya matibabu This mama is sick Huyu mama akona shida, ni akisukari Apati pesa ya dawa, apati pesa ya diet You might not even do it yourself. But sasa tumekuwa sign you your mama. By the end of this month, awe amepata usaidizi. In the church setting. So, unakuta kwamba, hakuna muetaji katika kanisa because the, the people are being cushioned. The people are being assisted. But these days, the church has been grabbed by selfishness na pride. If somebody is in the ministry, anateseka, unafurea kwa sababu, unaheza kumuangalia nyuma. You know, somebody, and a very bad spirit has entered in the church. And because of that, inabidi wakati mingine, wachungaji waache tebo, za kuubiri na kuomba, na kuenda katoloni anao, awana wakati, awana wakati wakuenda huko karura kuomba, because wanausika na mambo ya tebo, wakasema apana, enough is enough. Tafuta watu saba, wausike na mambo ya tebo, warudishe report, na sisi tuende mbele na neno. Hallelujah. And that's why I want to say this day, as I'm sharing to you, we want to just see the urgency of the word. What is the urgency? Number one, we need to know that people are lost. Watu wa mepotea, watu wa kuokolewa. Number two, time is short. Atuku wapa katika uli mwengu milele na milele. Una, Unaambi watu wa subui pap, so and so has died. I just watched the parents about walipeleka mtoto hapo eh, Daystar. Just the other day on 4th. Nikona wazazi marafiki zangu walipeleka watoto Daystar on 4th. Lakini awa ambao walipeleka Daystar that time. Musichana wa meenda bash na akadungwa na kisu. Wakapeleka round, 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 baada wakambi wali wawa. Hata ajapika, aja, hata pengina ajaseto in the dome, ikakuwa ni evil. You heard of the lady, I uh, don't know whether it was Mwendeo Wote hapo eh, Mulolongo, anapigua simu anaitwa kutoka kwa saloon, she does not come back again. Later anapatikana amekatakatwa in pieces. Time is short. Hata ikiwa atakatakatwa, akatakatwa ya kiwa hameokoka. Pigia yesu makofi. Yes, so time is short. Don't think you are here forever. Iluvia has just shown us Reverend Dr. Mutinda, ambaye alikuwa kwa meeting this Wednesday, 
ambaye ambe, is the founder of uh, AIC Kamarok uh, Kiba you know we have been with him to sama sana na yeye huyu mzee but alianguka tu na akaenda he was asthmatic that was the end of it we unadhani uko hapa lakini hauko we are going tunaenda mbinguni so time is short people are lost and then people are perishing sasa wajana na wale wanadungwa vitu na accident na nini kuna wengine wana perish kwa sababu ya kunywa madawa kunywa pombe na vitu zingine kama umalaya a lot of bad things we need to rescue them so we don't have time to waste and then the last number four, god has an intention to save them god is willing to save them so if god is willing who are we to waste time on matters on table let's have leaders who are who can take up the matters on the table number three, we need to have people who are centered in the character you know wise because they are Wa, uh, because there were men available for the task A, in the first church they realized the people they wanted to lead the church were available so the bible tells me this proposal pleased the, the whole group they chose Stephen a man full of faith and of the holy spirit also Philip Prochorus uh, Prochorus Nico not Timon Parmenas and Nicholas from Antioch a convert of Judaism now the, the guys to be chosen were there they were available let me tell you some churches have no leaders kuna makanisa hata hapa kwetu DCC unajua mwandikwa hata waje fikisha wazee kwa saba katika kanisa yao wako na wazee wawili na bado hata pengine au wakiwekwa kwa mezani hata wajatoshea now we need to know that uh, where where are these people coming from why are they choosing spiritual people it is because in chapter 5 kulitokea jambo ambalo si la kawaida ikiwa unajua in chapter 5 i say chapter 2 chapter 3 chapter 4 chapter 5 the apostles are leading the church so kulikuwa na washirika wa kiroho sana washirika walikuwa wanajitoa sana but we see a man named Ananias aliona wengine wanauza plot wanaleta pesa kwa meza alafu inaendelea but because he was not really I said to do the right thing. Yeye na mke wake wakashirikiana, wakafanya mambo ya ujinga. Wakalete ile haikuwa. And when they brought it to the man of God, aga agauliza Ananaya, eh? Is this exactly what you saw? Because walipokuwa anauza, walisema ni ya Bwana. Akasema mambo ilikuwa namna hiyo. And he was asked a question. Kwa nini mlishirikiana kudanganya roho wa Bwana? Na hapo kwa hapo akaanguka. Let me tell you ikanisa ilikuwa na youth ambao walikuwa ni wangufu na very fast. Wana youth wakaingia wakakuta Anania ameanguka. They wrapped him with a sanda na akaenda wakamuzika. Hata haikuisha muda mfupi. Ah mrefu. Na yeye mama anaingia na kamufuko yake anakuja sio sio Anania tu asemba ngite. Kaingia kwa ndio ambapo akapata kaume leo visi ni kuja. Kuna mata iko kwa ofisi ndio anadhani ni mambo mazuri. Hey, wa, wa, walikuwa wametetemesha. Walikuwa wametetemesha kanisa kwa kuleta pesa nyingi sana. Kaulizwa, "Eh, na hii pesa wewe na bwana yako ndio muliuza ilikuwa namna hiyo?" Ilikuwa hivyo. Hebu hebu nipatie hiyo mstari. Pista asked ah, tell me, is this the price you this is you a second level wale mnajua English grammar. The first level you is singular. The second you level is plural. So anaulizwa wewe na bwana yako, price is this the price you? Alafu anawekewa emphasis and Ananias you know got for the land. Yes. Very strong. Unaona inawekwa hata in blanket. Yes. She said that is the price. Hata kama angesema tu yes na malisia hapo ni sawa. Kuongezea kusema yes that is the price hata ni kuonyesha anaweka emphasis ya uongo. Hebu nipatie hiyo mstari ingine. Peter said to us, kiza hii maneno. How could you agree to test the spirit of the Lord? Look, the feet of the men who buried your husband are at the door. Kufanya nini and they will carry you out also. Oh my goodness. Anaambiwa madiko maku ni madhelu. Program usie po, emusie po na unaenda kuzikwa leo ukiongea hivyo unaongea. The Bible tells me alianguka chini ya miguu ya Peter na akakufa. Let me tell you for free members of ASU moja. It is high time we have reference 
to God. Mungu ajaenda pale. Ukwanga yula watu andika meliandu oko is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. Is the same God who used to heal, is the same God who used to raise na anafanya hiyo kazi hata leo. Usimchezee Mungu. Ukae kienga hii kidimoni. Ndio idima nga inga maiki. Mungu wetu si wa kupimwa. Ni Mungu mwaminifu. If we are faithful, he's going to be faithful. Na nilikuwa nasema katika ibada ile ingine. si tunaenda kwa uchaguzi. I know watu watapiga siasa, watafanya vile wanataka lakini acha nikwambie. Hata ikiwa ni bwana wako ama your wife, m- m- ukiona afai, mwambie mkiwa huko nyumbani. Ka uje yote ya madhina. No overlook atanania. Utaanguka na hiyo tie na madiko. Tie na ubingwa wa tam. Kutema saa. Hallelujah. So I'm saying we need to know that the people that were to be chosen walikuwa what am i saying kuna mtu hajanipata nasema kwamba we had seven people who are different from anania kitambaa ki cha kina stevano na believe they are not the type of anania because they were tested and they were proved to be spiritual let me go to point number 4 as i, I go down to finishing now we need people of good character because are uh, men to oversight the leadership he uh, uh, were available the apostles were there the disciples were there kuwaombea that's why the bible tells me in verse 6 they were presented uh, to the apostles they were laid hands on na wakaombewa when were they being prayed for for divine setting apart for god's service they were actually being uh, done a special anointing to combat the kingdom of the enemy they were being raised uh, you, uh, they were pushed up to raise the commitment uh, of the lord in the ministry they were just to undertake so ni muhimu sana mungu anaweza kuwa amekuita umechaguliwa kama mzee wewe uko na position mzuri uko na pesa uko na kila kitu that is not enough there are elders to lay hands on you ambao wakikuombea unapike new kind of a divine level na maisha inabandilika unakuwa at a different person let me finish because of time in number 5 which is actually a continuation of us 4 that is we need people of character you know because the work will uh, there in the passage proved itself unajua tukichagua watu wa kiroho watu wamejawa na ro, watu wana nguvu za bwana watu wana kibali cha bwana watu wana neema za bwana people who have the grace of the lord things are not going to be the same again let's read verse 7 and 8 ndio ni make my punchline so the word of god spread the number of disciples in jerusalem increased rapidly and a large number of priests became obedient to the faith because of the decision that they made Kazi ya bwana ikaanza kupanuka. God's word was spread vizuri sana. And uh, there is something I want to capture there that is very important according to me. That uh, in verse 8, verse 8, give me verse 8. Now Stephen, a man full of God's grace and the power, did great wonders and miraculous signs among the people. Uyu jamaa Stephen, akuwa apostle, Uyu jamaa Stephen akuwa disciple wa Yesu. Uyu jamaa Stephen, he was not even a priest, but he was just one of the seven who were chosen. But because he had the grace of the Lord and the power of God, the Bible tells me he could do great things. Wacha ni kuambie, ata mshirika katika hii kanisa anaeza kuingiwa na buwana. Akiwa mejiwachilia kwa buwana. Na roa buwana yuko ndani yake. The favor of the Lord is in that person. Anawekelea watu mikono unaona wanapona. Anaambia unaona mtu tu wa English ni mtu wa English kwa haya na huyu tio tatona haya kwa haya ni akizungu ndaimoni ya umiata because the lord is with that person it is not about uh, at the apostles or the whatever when the lord's power is in those people we are going to make a very big difference so that's why i'm saying i'm so excited when i see somebody like Stephen who was so committed to a point of Hata ikiwa ni kufa. You know, hata ukisoma hapo mbele, utaona kwa sababu alikuwa sugu. Neno la bwana ilikuwa imemea katika moyo wake. Wakati ya naongea, he, he speaks about the whole history of the Christian life. 
na wakamchukua akaenda wakamgonga na mawa wakamua this is the man wakati alikuwa mchanga akasema na roho yangu naiweka mbele za bwana he was so committed in the work of the lord that's what i'm saying may the lord help us that uh, we can have people who can really defend the word of the lord can you defend the gospel wakati neno la bwana inaharibiwa utaweza kuitetea that's why we want to see the church making an impact in the society once more the way it used to make we want to see a church that is making new converts every week we want to see a church that is uh, concentrating on prayers more than it used to be we need to see a church that uh, is making new church planting tunakuwa na kanisa moja hapa ingine like now in in 15 years mwandikwa hii kanisa tujapanda ingine imekuwa tu ni umoja we are doing the intrinsic instead of the extrinsic may the lord help us that we will rise up and go out and do church planting for God's honor and glory also we need to get the church obedient obeying God's word we need to see the church fearing sin we need to see the church respect to God's servants we need to see the church performance of miracles and wonders by all the members because they are connected we want to see the church defending the truth can you think about the the GBTQ the GBTQ i was just trying to imagine in maneno the GBTQ in a shake in a shock all over and uh, in case when we just talk of uh, LGBTQ and you don't know what you are talking about we are talking about lesbianism we are talking about gayism we are talking about bisexual we are talking about transgender we are talking about queer wale hata hawaelei maiba ana maiba ana maiba ya you know the queer we also uh, have those questioning because uh, this has given birth to uh, you know a same sex marriage which is very serious i want to say time has come that we can join the servant of the lord paul once again as he speaks in first timothy 5 uh, 17 to 18 what does he say he says the elders who perform their leadership duties well are to be considered worthy of double honor that is financial support especially those who work hard or at preaching and teaching the word of god So hii maneno inafaa kujulikana tunafaa kuishika sana na tuipatie heshima inayostahili and the Lord is going to save us. Wenda ikawa mtu hata anguka hapa na youth tuwaite wapeleke waende wakazike you might fall. Hata watu wakikuangalia wanauliza na huyu alikuanga kwa kanisa kweli. Eh? I'm told and then uh, I pray and call upon Roda to come and uh, take care of the matters offering iliambiwa kuna mzee mmoja alikuwa anasoma matangazo huko ruro alikuwa anasoma matangazo but siku moja akaingia kwa mutego ya kukunywa pombe so akaenda kunywa pombe asubuhi sana jumapili na bila kujua pombe ni aibu sana akajikuta anarudi nyumbani saa za kanisa na ajabu njia ya kwenda kwake ilikuwa inapitia tu karibu na mlango ya kanisa So sasa wakati anapita unajua hata akiwa analewa anasema anapita analewa anajua hiyo sauti anasikia watu wakiimba ni kwa kanisa na anajua watu wanamjua na yeye huwa anasoma mabata katika hiyo kanisa Ndio akienda tu akilegalega akilegalega akapiga hapo akaza hey mwaachiata inye kwa anaongea na kikamba Hayo ndo ndeka andiambela you know hiyo ni maneno ya defense ati hakuna kitu hawezi kufanya na akose na pia endelee you know hiyo ndo ndeka ndiye ndela no nambele no nambele alafu akapita akiendanga tu kiendanga let me tell you may the lord help you pe ndo we kano ile ambela let's stand up and pray together let's stand up and we pray together baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo na kushukuru kwa sababu ya neno lako lililo hai limetubariki tunashukuru endelea na kutuongoza hata wakati tunapoendelea na kunyemelea na kuja kufika karibu na mambo ya uchaguzi because it's just few uh, Sundays and we are there we pray that your will is going to be done and the spirit of god is going to lead the way not only for AIC umoja but for the whole church of AIC Kenya receive honor and glory father in jesus name we pray and we all say amen 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 can you clap and appreciate jesus Thank you we can be seated